It's a story you might have heard people talking about today, a big cat sighting and shooting in the four states. This is KOAM News at 10. I'm Erica Edwards. And I'm Dow Quick. We have the big cat caught on camera so you can judge the mystery animal for yourself. Meanwhile, life is getting back to normal for the Newton County family that ran into the creature. KOAM's Jordan Abbey talked with the family and has more on what happened. Dow, many animals were displaced from the May 10th tornadoes, and authorities think this may be the case for this cat. But this family didn't want this animal displaced in their yard near Neosho. It was 6 a.m. Monday when an unexpected, uninvited four-legged visitor arrived at the home of Vicki Sanders. It scared me so bad I couldn't figure out what it was at first, and then when I did see it, it was a black panther. Vicky was outside, and the large cat moved towards her. Her dog, Sam, ran towards the exotic animal and distracted it. My hero was Sam. She's the one that helped me get to the house, and she wouldn't leave me. Safely inside, the camera came out. This is home video shot while at the door, showing what appears to be a large panther-like cat. The cat full force hit the door with its head, its whole body. I've got plexiglass. I have kids, baseballs, footballs, soccer balls. So I put plexiglass in, which I think I'll keep in all of my windows. The family called 911, and when a sheriff's deputy arrived, the animal started moving towards him. It left the deputy with no other option other than to shoot the big cat's dead. Authorities are now trying to figure out where the animal came from, believing it could even be a lost pet. Well, the animal had been declawed, so we're assuming that it had been in someone's possession. Uh, we're figuring maybe it got out during the tornado. We don't know. We've had no reports of the missing cat. Some in the Sanders family wish they could have adopted this cat as a pet. It was a gorgeous cat and I just think that that's really mean hurting animals, especially when he was just out here, you know, probably just looking for food. But Stelina was on the inside of the home when the cat arrived. Vicky was on the outside and she has a different opinion. It was declawed, but it had teeth. And it was hungry, I'm sure. Anyone who owns an exotic pet has to register it with the Newton County Sheriff's Office. Now, as for this 50-pound mystery cat, conservation officials say it's either a leopard or a jaguar. But more tests are needed to figure out its exact species. In either case, quite a surprise to see that thing on the doorstep. Jordan Abbey, thanks.